We're doing the walk again in the grounds around Hurstensu Castle. That over there is the observatory, um, which is now a science centre, the most fantastic science centre. The original video is on my website at www.herbalhealthinformation.com and it's the walk around Hurstman Zoo. But today I've specifically come to see the horse chestnut in flower. It's now the 19th of May and the horse chestnut is absolutely beautiful at the moment. Actually May is a fantastic month for plants and wild plants and herbal plants um, because everything just blossoms in May. I won't stop and talk about the things that I talked about in the previous video but if we do see some different plants I'll stop and talk about those. Have a quick scan around the field and see how beautiful the field is because it's got lots and lots of buttercups growing in it. and dock growing together and nettles are very high in iron and vitamin C around about this time of year the ancients would have picked it as a vegetable because it would have been the end of the winter and there was very very little green vegetable around so this would have been a very good source of green vegetable but nettles are also a very good blood tonic as you know they sting if you touch them and you can see they're growing right by dock and the dock has got some kind of antihistamine property to it. So if you crush it, if you sting yourself, crush the dock and rub it on the dock, it has an antihistamine effect on the sting. This is not yellow dock, which is the medicinal plant. The root of the yellow dock is used medicinally, but this is not yellow dock. This looks like a, a great dock. exciting. This is chickweed, um, a plant of the Stellaria family, little tiny white flower on it. Chickweed is one of the plants, you use the upper part of the plant and it makes a really fantastic cream to rub on eczema. It's got brilliant anti-inflammatory properties. Uh, chickweed cream is very, very commonly used in herbal medicine for eczema as an external remedy for eczema. Champion. And it really, really reminds me of my childhood because there was so much red campion in hedgerows in those days. I think we'll have to walk a bit now, so I mustn't get overexcited by all the plants that I see, but it is so beautiful. Okay, I said I wasn't going to stop all the time, but I had to stop for this. This is comfrey. It's not quite flowering yet. There are the buds and it has a, either a blue or a white flower on it. If you could feel it, you'd feel that the leaf is very, very downy. And that's because it's very high in mucilage and it, that means it's very healing. Uh, it's, if, if you, for instance, had a wound and you didn't know what to do, you were out in the middle of nowhere, you could crush the leaf and put it on the wound and the allantoin in it improves um, skin healing. It helps it heal much more quickly. The root of the plant is much more effective, but both the leaf and the root has something called pyrrolizidine alkaloids, which are liver toxic, but the root is much, much higher 
in it so you have to be a little bit careful with comfrey but it is the best healer in the herb herbal pharmacopoeia and oh it's, it's just so beautiful to touch it's lovely it's so soft and downy As we're walking past, I'm just going to point this out, I'm not going to talk too much about it, only because it's a relative of the chickweed that we saw up there, and this is called stitchwort. Again, it's Stellaria family. You can see it growing in amongst bluebells. This is goose grass or sticky willy. Goose grass, the goose grass is flowering as well. That's got a tiny little weeny flower on it. Uh, the goose grass is another plant that the ancients would have used at this time of year as a green vegetable because it's very high in vitamin C and iron again and it's a very very good lymphatic cleanser. Yeah, not too far. Come on. That's a good girl. That's Henry thinking he's going to find ducks amongst the reeds. He's doing his setter bit. But there aren't any ducks here, I don't think. Yeah, lots of birds though. it's also the time when rhododendrons and azaleas are flowering. Rhododendrons were brought into England from the Himalaya so I'm quite fond of them being Anglo-Indian myself. Um, they, in modern days they're not used medicinally at all but one very interesting fact about the rhododendron is that the leaf has got very very strongly antibacterial um, properties and also it kills any other plant that is growing around it so once you've had a rhododendron growing in an area even if you if if you clear that area you won't get another plant growing in that area for years and years and you can see under there that actually underneath the rhododendron there's not anything growing right in amongst the trunk there <clears throat> uh, this is quite interesting here. This, I think, although it's not flowering at the moment, is a black nightshade. I'd need the flower to be out. Um, but I'm pretty sure that's a black nightshade. Same family as deadly nightshade, but obviously not so poisonous. And as far as I know, not really used medicinally. Hello. seed which is conkers and we talked about that in the previous video but I wanted you to see how beautiful the flowers are in spring and a tree full of horse chestnut flowers just looks stunning at this time of year Quick 
actually just peek through this fence and see this beautiful avenue of sweet chestnut trees with the bluebells all around them. We think it probably went, it was an avenue that probably went up to Hurstman's somewhere. It's now overgrown and the trees are fantastic. Look at the beautiful shapes in the bark of them. Very, very old trees. obviously because they come out in May. Uh, you can hear all about the Hawthorne in the previous video that we did at Hurstmansu Castle. Um, the countryside just looks stunning today. You all know Henry the dog, handsome Henry as we call him. Henry. He is our Henry. own red setter and he comes for all our walks with us. She's having the best time today because she is going in every muddy puddle and rolling in all the cow pads. So she's having a fun whilst our daughter is in Vienna acting. We're at the end of the walk now and this is the stand of horse chestnut that we stopped in the autumn and looked at the conkers. They're past their best really but they're still the tree still looks very beautiful.